I think the first thing is just to be curious um, and, and to keep learning. Um, you know, I, I would say that in my leadership journey, I've still got some way to go, but if I compare myself as a leader now to even 12 months ago, you know, I've made enormous strides. And um, for me personally, that, that's really putting it down to wanting to learn, wanting to be curious about things um, and really being open to to that process, which includes, I suppose, um, we reference it in a different context, but being open to feedback um, as well. Um, I think it's also um, a real uh, key part of that relationship building that we spoke about as well and, and creating that trust and connection um, within your teams uh, and, and learning things along the way where you haven't got things right. but you know, striving to not make the same mistakes again, but it's certainly um, a journey of evolution and, you know, most people who aspire to, to higher leadership positions will do some form of formal learning to, to assist with that, um, and, I, and I've done that, but I would say that um, most of my real learnings and, and, and how my values have been formed have really been uh, on-the-job experience of being a leader, um, how you've encountered with things, and, and even in terms of the leaders that you've worked for or currently work for in terms of their approach, um, both positive and, and negative as well. But ultimately, um, it is a journey and uh, I suppose to be a really strong um, and authentic leader, you, you need to be true to yourself as well. So how you're shaped along the way by your experiences, not only professional, I suppose, but personal um, relationships is a, a really key plank in that.